everyone. Welcome back. I'm Debbie. Today we're going to be making a cranberry oat bread in my bread maker. And uh, also I'm sporting a towel scarf that my sister got me for my birthday. So handy. Just wrap it around your neck and wipe your hands. So we're going to be using that today. So if you are new here, hit the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And hit the bell and hit the bell icon so you're notified of every video that I do upload. If you're watching on a TV, I was told by my aunt that she didn't know how to subscribe to my channel because she didn't see the little red subscribe button. But on your TV, you're also able to subscribe. You just hit your down arrow and you will see the thumbs up there and you will see where it says subscribe to this channel. So I hope you all subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel. I've inserted some pictures here. This is actually off my actual YouTube channel. And if you hit your down arrow, you will get these options. Scroll over to my face and then select my face, highlighted like it is here, and that will give you the option to subscribe to my channel. Then go over to more to the thumbs up and that is where you can like my video. Now, Thank let's you. get into the cranberry oat bread. So the first thing we're going to add is three quarter cup of water plus two tablespoons, which I have pre-measured out. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of soft butter. Get it all in there. Butter makes everything butter. And to that, we're going to be then adding one tablespoon of dry powdered milk. This is the uh, Carnation. I think I get it at Walmart. One tablespoon. Okay. And then to that, we're going to be adding, adding three quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're also going to be adding a three quarter a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I've got my salt already pre-measured out in my three quarter teaspoon. So I'm going to dump that in already. And I'm going to use the other end to get out my cinnamon. So we have in our water, our butter, our salt, our dried powder milk, and our cinnamon. And the next thing we're going to be adding is a third a cup of oats. Then we're going to be adding a half a cup of cranberries. These are sweetened dried cranberries. Got them from Walmart. I got these around Christmas time and made all my nieces and nephews a little simmer pot in a mason jar where I sliced up. Um, I didn't slice it up. I gave them a whole orange, um, actually two. Maybe they were kind of smaller, but one would probably be enough. But And then um, some of these, some, um, what else was it I put in there? Some cinnamon and some... I can't think of the other thing. Hang on. I had to go look whole cloves. So there's another recipe for you. An orange, you slice it up, add a few cranberries, whole cloves, some cinnamon. Uh, actually, cinnamon sticks probably work better. I think I had cinnamon sticks for them. And just put that in a pot of water and just bring it to a simmer on your stove, make sure you keep your water in there. Don't let it boil dry, um, but it just makes the most wonderful smell in your home. So anyway, I digress. Let's get back to this recipe. Okay. So the next thing we're going to add is two tablespoons of brown sugar. And since I got off track, I'm going to have this recipe, like always, linked in the description below. So two tablespoons of brown sugar. And 
And then the next thing we want to add is two cups of bread flour. There's one. And two. And then the last thing we're going to be adding is our yeast. And that is one and a half teaspoons of yeast. And I am using the bread machine yeast. So we're going to make a little indention in here, a little hole. I'm going to dump it in there. So one and a half teaspoons. I really wish they would make these things easier for me to read. I almost used the half a tablespoon. <laughs> Maybe that's what I did the day. If you go back and watch my Hawaiian bread, I think it was my Hawaiian bread. It rose to the top and was keep on rising and got stuck. It was it rose so much. I might have put too much yeast in that one. But okay, so we have everything in here and we're going to stick it in the bread maker. We are going to choose just the regular, um, got it plugged in. Yep. We're just going to use the regular uh, white setting and I'm going to choose um, light for my crust color and then start. So we'll meet you back here when it's done. All right, it's done. Mmm. Luscious smelling. Ooh. And I did take the paddle out when it did the, um, it beeps 10 times um, right before the last rise. And it'll, it tells you when it's beeping that amount of times that you can come remove the paddle so it doesn't make a big hole in the bottom of your bread. So she's looking good. And it does look like the uh, cranberries mixed throughout. Um, I had a problem with that with my chocolate chips, but I think I, I think I realized what the problem is on this machine. It also has an ad time. It will beep. I'm usually busy and I'm not just sitting around, so I'm not listening for all that. And I was in my living room looking on my phone and it started beeping and I'm like, well, what was that amount of beeps for? Because the 10 beeps, and I knew it wasn't time yet, would be for to remove the paddle. So I came over here and I looked and it was flashing add. So that is where you probably, I should have probably added my chocolate chips then because they were heavier. Um, and that's probably where you want to add your nuts and your chips and things like that. So when I cut this, we'll see how these cranberries are dispersed throughout. And then I'll probably start doing the adding when I'm supposed to add it. But I'm very happy with um, how it looks. And we'll let it cool a little bit. But you know me, probably won't be very long and I'll be back cutting it while it's warm. Okay, it's still warm. Surprise! <laughs> but we're going to cut it. Ooh, I can, I can smell that little bit of cinnamon in there. And, oh, man, look at that. I just love that. So tender.
Oh, this is going to be so good in the morning. I'm going to put a little piece of this in my toaster, the little butter on it in the morning. It's going to be yummy. The cranberries aren't bad throughout it. I could have probably even put a few more. But let's give it a taste test. The crust color is perfect to me. I chose light. Like I said, you can smell just a little hint of cinnamon. Mmm. I like the cranberry. That cranberry mixed with that touch of cinnamon, that's a winner. I gotta have two bites. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I can't wait till breakfast. <laughs> Hope you try this one for sure. It is really, really good. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.